Hello friends. So let's welcome to all of you. Uh, so today we will start the topics, the so ADA interview questions. So multi, many of the pupils are looking for a job in the ADA department. And some of how like uh, looking for a job like in the ADA department and want to just know that what are the interview questions can be asked by the interviewer or there might be some questions which we you need to be know okay uh like suppose interviewer is asking some question and you don't aware about this so in this scenario in this presentation we will be covering this all these topics okay so the main motive of this creating the video is the creating the um, questions for the interview round okay so let's start what is edi first of all everyone should be aware like what is the edi and what if you are fresher on this video it's okay if you are have the experience this is the better um, way to uh, utilize your experience and put your thoughts as well okay so it, these are the things like everyone should be aware the edi electron data interchange which is used to the uh, for the sending the business information of using a standard format okay a process which allows one company to send information to another company electronically rather than the paperwork okay it's it reduce the paperwork as well it is very fastly okay it is uh there is no human intervention okay and this is very effectively for use in the market and multiple industry are using the edi for doing their insurance companies are generally using for this okay and business entity conducting the business electronically are called the trading partners if you are confusing like what is the trading partner there are two company with the send the and exchange the document okay this is called the trading partners we are talking about uh, like uh, what the EDI process is and how many transaction set we generally use in the EDI. so the interviewer might be asked like how many transactions that are available in the strategy to industry so you need to say like there are multiple transactions set are available in the industries and uh, we need to know each of one like for the basic information we at least we need to know okay not sure not too much but it's okay suppose uh for the mm, action mm, for the EDA transaction there's the multiple transactions that are generally used in order to the mm, working on the like uh, industries okay uh, if you receive the accept uh, receive and accept for the edi 850 this is called the purchase order okay 850 used for the purchase order there's a purchase order information are there if you send an edi 855 purchase order acknowledgement to your buyer confirm a successful receipt of the 850 if you are using the 850 transaction set in your company then it is used for the purchasing order acknowledgement as well to the buyer for confirming the successful reception reception okay that file has been successfully received at the receiver end so that is the thing okay if you are working like on the 856 mm, transaction set and this is used for the advanced shipping notice asn to describe your buyer the contents of the each shipment and how items were packed okay and if you insert the 810 this is used for the invoice for the buyer okay if we are moved to the another part like this question might be asked like what is the sftb and what is the ftb what is the difference between ftb and sftb so you need to know this is the basic difference are there ftp mm, file transfer protocol okay stand for the file transfer protocol and it's just the standard network protocol used for the client and client server internet communications to the transfer files from one host to the another via the computers or networks utilizing the tcp ip protocol okay and ftp clients are mm, basic file transfer mechanism with a few enhanced security features okay but this is not secure this is unencrypted mm, ftp is basically unencrypted mm, platform okay they this is not encrypted so you need to be no and in your mind like ftp is not encrypted things okay and what is the sftp F sftp is a secure as is the secure shell okay you are able to understand like s is already mm, used for the prefix that is the secure salt file secure shell file transfer protocol and this is the secure okay and ssh what is the ssh mm. And SSH file transfer protocol for the SFTP use the SSH encryption as well to transfer the files and require requires that the client to be authenticated by the server and client and as SFTP protocols is preferred by the highly regulated industries to securely transfer sensitive data. Okay, so these are the basic information like we need to know SFTP is more secure and more reliable and this is encrypted data to encrypted to send the channels 
from the one company to another company and if we are using the ftp this is not encrypted data this is unencrypted data okay encrypted channel as well got it if we are talking about the as2 so this is the main things and this is the very most important as2 um, which is used based on the http okay and this is the applicability statement too okay these are this is based on the http protocols to transmit the message special eda message safely and cheaply quickly okay and as2 is used for the uh, sending the files by the secure security provides and reliability and uh, flexibility and efficiency so these are the main features which she can provide and we can get the acknowledgement by using that mdn as well message disposition notification which we can get the confirmation like acknowledgement file is loaded and file is received and uh, receiver end. okay so if we are talking about the security of the as2 the as2 protocol offers end-to-end -end data encryption ssl secure socket layers okay encryptions and the hashing as well okay if we are talking about the non reputation reputation so as2 likes links allow you to the legally to provide transaction details confirmations and send mdns if we are talking about the mdn 40 mdn mdn is the message disposition those disposition notification which is generally used for getting the acknowledgement like we get a receipt from the once we send the file to the receiver end then we mdn do what mdn do mdn can get the receipt that from the receiver end and file has been successfully received as receiver end we can get the notification okay and mdn can send the notification to the sender got it and flexibility as2 integration allows large the file transfer and any data type including non edi payloads as well and efficiency the over as2 plus software is extremely cost effective because transmission take place via the internet because the as documentation can be used almost everywhere in the internet. okay so on the world as well okay so as2 is most widely used uh, network as well so what is is to mdn if we are talking about the mdn so we will just, just describe in this mdn okay so mdn the message disposition notification it's an electronically acknowledgement of the successful receipts reception of an as to transfer mdn okay uh, mdn are sent to the transfer where the as2 after the electronic message has been sent confirming that the message has been transmitted completely completely okay the MDN mainly check two important events whether the AS2 transfer successfully completed, the message arrived at the desired recipient, recipient and uh, without change. Okay, and this cannot be changed. Okay, and this will be remains same. And here the below some you know, process for the establishing the AS2 MDN connection. How we can check and establish the AS2 connection. Okay, if we are sending the file via the AS2, then we need to know about these things. What are the major points we need to be no okay and what is the process of that once the sender sent the encryption encrypted data encrypted data edis is with a digital signature uh, to the desired recipient then transmission of the edi message over the via the as2 sending the files using the encryption okay and the message encrypted by the recipient and the digital signature of the sender is verified okay once sender is verified the signature the signature then digital signature then it's verified okay and the recipient prepares the re requested mdn and applies the digital signature and the recipient what you can do prepare the requested for the mdn like if he requested for the mdn then applies for this digital signature it is sent back then back, sent back to the sender as well for a receipt as well okay at uh, the sender receive the mdn verify the digital signature of the recipient okay so these are the process can be used mainly for the mdn as well if we are talking about the interviewer can be asked this question like what is ncx12 if you are know about this so this is the very most important ncx12 is the american standard national standard institute x12 and refers to the american EDA electronic data interchange standard developer developed by developed back in the 1979 by the nc subsidiary mm, accredited standard committees okay asc as well so we can say ascx12 as well okay and so the goal of the NCX12 is to uniform standard for inter-industry electronic exchange of business documents, namely the EDA NCX12 is global and uh, EDA NCX12 is global set of for you of rules for the inter-company electron electronic 
data interchange between two EDA trading partners. So these are the X12, the format. Okay, there are multiple format are available in the industry which we use for the creating working on the files as well. And how many like there are the multiple questions can be asked uh, by the interviewer. So these are the some questions you, you need to be know. This is a later question as well. So then how many characters are in the I I segment header lines? And this is the 160, 106 character as well. Okay. Suppose and next is the what is the composite composite what is the composite element? A composite element, a data element that contains the two or more component data element or sub elements like if we are if we are talking about dtp01 and dtp02 as well okay if we are talking about the ref01 and ref02 so these are the two one is a qualifier and ref01 is a qualifier and is ref02 is the actual value like right? you can understand why the is01 and is02 okay got it so what is the information can be passed in the is01 and is02 is01 and is02 is a composite element which contains from a sub element okay more than two element like is01 is a uh, uh, qualifier authorization qualifier and is02 the actual value of that authorization information got it and another question is the what is mapping tool you use and how to do the mapping in the adi so interviewer can be asked to you this question like if you have work on your company if you have experience like what are the tool you have used and how you can do the mapping okay so there's a the multiple tools are available in the industries okay like ibm sterlings integrators and clearing house and multi etc there are multiple are there for the mapping tools okay and how you can do the mapping there's a source template are there in the left hand side and the time destination template you need to put the mapping document and creating the map mapping for use from the start from one mapping document as per the brand that is requested to you like these are the field need to be updated as per the file specification okay so we need to work on this so these are the mapping criteria and another question might be like hmm, where you use where you use the sender ID in the C in the 34 transistors and in the 37 transistors and in the 997 transistors set okay so oh, this is the multiple transistors that are available in the C so you need to be know like header file should be aware by you like what this is the IS at center IS a header if you are taking the interview so before the interview please be carefully and read the whole ISA lines and all the segments of the ISA line what are the IS01 IS02 IS03 I said 04, I said 14, 15, and 16. Okay, what are the information can you pass? So I said 06 and for use for the sender ID, and I said 08 for use for the receiver ID. With the same uh, requested, like same um, respective GA02 and GA03 use for the receiver and sender ID and receiver ID as well. So, and maybe last question of your company, this should be like. Uh, what is the daily life cycle you have worked in your company previously okay if you have the experience like whatever the daily roles of your company what the responsibility you have worked you need to just uh, explain all each and everything which you have performed in the daily work okay once you go to the company's act you have open your system after them what are the scenario you have performed for creating the for working on the files working on the cases okay and working on the mapping tool what are the situation what how to work on the test file how to work on the production files and what are the roadblocks you have faced in front of you okay so these are the questions uh, might be asked by the interviewer and you need to be aware about all these things so thank you friends if you like my video please like and subscribe this channel and i will be provide all the most updated video upcoming days thank you